Hi, my name is Tony Amore. I'm playing piano today. And this is <clears throat> Frederick Chopin's Polonaise. So you may, it's, so, uh, if you're being filmed, you could have stage fright, I suppose, on, when you're playing your notes and you're aware that the camera's there, but if you don't take any, don't, don't take any notice of that the camera's there, then you can just, you can just play the piano. Um, <coughs> so, um it's winter and um it's cold outside or freezing or whatever and uh, you're stuck indoors or you can only go to shops or whatever <coughs> and you've got your piano in your house or apartment or whatever or your keyboard in your house or apartment or flat or whatever it is you've got or room and um It's snowing outside, snows on the houses, on the trees and on the ground and it looks spectacular, uh, scenic, uh, very the beautiful scenery outside. But it's cold, as I said before, so you wrap up, you, you put plenty of jumpers on or whatever, clothing to keep warm. And um, you've got your piano in front of you and your piano music so it's winter with with Franz Liszt and Frederick Chopin um, <coughs> and it's a good it's a good exercise it's good also to play the piano and use it as a, as a, as a, as a time as a time also to, to practice playing the piano I mean you might be reading literature uh, some wonderful literature book um, one of the classics probably uh, but you've got a bit fed up of reading that so well you haven't <laughs> but you just want another diversion and you have a keyboard you just happen to have a keyboard and you can just happen to read music and play the piano and um, <coughs> you can go you can leave your book behind a uh, great classic book, whatever it, whatever it is you're reading, and um, which is also a brilliant hobby as well, reading. And uh, you you finished your book. You can pick that up another time, finish the story. But you just want a diversion, so you you start playing the keyboard, start playing the piano, and um, and that gives you a lot of satisfaction. Um, and then you can pick out bits of whatever this France list wraps in Spaniel, Spanish Rhapsody, Spanish Rhapsody. <coughs> you can just pick out bits out of the Spanish Rhapsody um, or wherever it is you're playing. I mean, you're playing something completely different, but you can take out your book. Um, and uh, start, start playing.
So I've taken this section out of the Franz list. Oh, along there. That's it. When it goes wrong, it really goes wrong. <laughs> so, sorry. So that's uh, just um, a passage out of uh, Rhapsody Espanol. So you can pick up your book and you can start playing. You can start playing bits out to your Rhapsody Espanol or whatever it is. Uh, you're playing. This is Rhapsody Espanol, Spanish Rhapsody. So whatever it is you're playing, uh, whatever piece, that's a Spanish Rhapsody as well. So whatever piece you, you're playing, and you can use it as a, as a time to practice as well. Uh, so, so I enjoy playing piano. So if you enjoy playing, then that's, that's obviously a big, a big incentive to get up to play the keyboard. Um, <coughs> I realise it's always going to be one of your hardest points, isn't it? I mean, all it could be, might not be, is oh, I've got to get off and I've got to play the piano or I've got to practice. But um, it doesn't have to be like that. It could be just you, you, you just think about what it is you want to play and go up and start playing it. And that's it. Because you know you're going to get better. You know you're going to get through. PCs anyway um, and um, <coughs> you, you, you don't have to look for it you don't have to um, you don't have to go with the intention of playing it as a masterpiece right away um, if you make some mistakes or a few mistakes so what it's no big deal you can always go play it again and play it again and you will get it right so so there's that, there's that, and I keep looking at the music and stuff, and um, and I have 10 hour piano lessons in a couple of weeks time, in next week, sorry, next week, so I'll have two hours on Friday, next Friday, uh, two hours on Monday, Tuesday, uh, two hours on Tuesday, two hours on Wednesday, and two hours on Thursday with my piano teacher, that's quite a long time, two hours each day, for five days, um, which I'll probably do once a month and then I might have two hours in between that uh, maybe two weeks after that so it's a very extensive very intense but 
I enjoy it and it's necessary if I'm playing these pieces. <laughs> So that's the Rhapsody Espanol by, by Franz Liszt. Thank you to, from Tony Amore.